We interrupt with some breaking news. It's 1666 and a fire has broken out on the streets of London. We go live to our reporter, Katie Woe. I've covered kings, queens, wars and volcanoes. But today I'm covering a small fire in Pudding Lane, East London. Uh, excuse me, Katie Woe, HHTV News. Where are you all going? Oh, we're at war with Holland. This fire's the start of a Dutch attack. Or just a fire which you could put out. Oh, I've got to throw my furniture in the Thames, so quick. Why? To stop it getting ruined by the fire. By ruining it in a wholly different way. Exactly. The fire spreading quite quickly, as are the rumours that it was started by Dutch spies. Spies is the Dutch spies, I'm telling you. Fire! It wasn't Dutch spies, it was a terrible accident. Hot coals in the bakery oven accidentally left burning overnight. A bakery oven, and your name is? Oh, well, Thomas Farron, a baker for the king. Oh, you're a baker. Um, how did you know it was started in a bakery? Um, well, I, you know, I'd, I'd rather not say. In fact, come, come think of it as the foreigners. Yeah, foreigners coming over here with their fire, you know. I, nothing to do with me. I was asleep when my fire started. Not my fire, the fire. It's not my... These aren't even my cakes. Excuse me, I just... It sounds like there's a bit of mystery as to how this now quite large fire started. I know why! Yes, old crone? It was because of that Polish chicken. What made an egg? And there's a cross on it. Excuse me. <laughs> beware the egg! Beware the egg! Beware the egg. Or beware the fire. This is turning into a disaster and a cracking story. Join us later for more on this great fire of London. Oh, that's catchy. Can we use that? Oh, Deborah. <laughs> Why would you be calling me at four in the morning? Your wife told me to, Mr. Peeps. Oh. So there's a big fire, sir. 300 houses have gone up already. Great. Yes, I did think it was a bit on the muggy side. Right. This is an emergency, and I must act immediately. I must rescue my Parmesan cheese. Right. Probably best to sell you. Get you out of here. Don't want you melting in the fire. Right. OK. Probably should tell the king, what with being a top public servant and all. Ah, oh, Peeps, it's four in the morning. Yes, I'm sorry about waking you, Your Majesty. Wake me? No, I haven't been to bed yet. Party! Yeah! Cool. Um, London is burning, Your Majesty. London is burning. Uh, all right, yeah, fair play. Um, the contact's Lord Mayor Bloodworth. He'll get right on to it. All right? Yeah. Bloodworth, there's a fire. <sighs> I know. I wouldn't worry about it. It's so small a woman might peer it out. Now, leave me alone. I'm logging off till morning. Useless man. Your Majesty? Shh, 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 shh. And yet, Bloodworth doesn't seem to be entirely grasping the severity of the situation, Your Majesty. Oh, probably drunk. Yeah, yeah, I can always rely on you in a crisis, peepsy boy. Yeah. Yes, Your Majesty, would yeah. you uh, mind by any chance bidding up a cheese on eBay for me? What? It doesn't matter. Party on. Hello, Samuel Peeps here. Now, before the fight. Corey, ghastly, mean and cruel. Stuff they don't teach you at school. The past is no longer a mystery. Hope you enjoyed. Horrible history.